Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. It's 12 15 2020, a Tuesday, and it's 1300 hours, roughly. Uh, that's Pacific Standard Time. So I had mentioned yesterday that I was working on a, a message concerning Germany. And so you're looking at Germany here on, on Google Earth. And the Holy Spirit has just given me all types of revelation about this. And so the, the best way I know how to do this is the same way I've been doing it for years. Is just go live and, uh, and, and, and let the Holy Spirit lead me and guide me as I listen to some soft worship music and see what the Holy Spirit is revealing. I'd like to do this in one take and let me decrease so that he can increase the Holy Spirit. And uh, thank you, Jesus. And so the video may run a little longer than normal. I've heard from a, a, a majority of the people that watch this channel and say that's just fine. So that's what I'm going to do. I, I have no time on this. If it's 15 minutes or 50 minutes, it is what it is. Because if I do it, if I do it recorded and pause and this and that, at the Holy Spirit is like a, I become more of me and I get and then distractions come in instead of instead of it becomes more of me and less of the Holy Spirit. So so I'm just going to do this in one take. Uh, someone had a great idea that I put my cell phone on do not disturb when I do these type of videos. And so that's what I've done. And I want to thank you for that. So we're looking at Mainz, Germany. Now look up here, it says bad, bad vibe. Just interesting things I noticed, bad vibe, but it says bad vibe. So let me show you what Mainz is. Let me get on my worship music and let's go for a ride on this thing. Jesus, take the wheel, amen. Get on some low worship music. Okay, so I'm reviewing a video. Look, I just want to show you some things. I'm reviewing a video from May 20th, 2015. May 20th, so 5 20 15. And the title is Urgent Watchman Warning. The United Nations, Germany, Gun Control, and DNA Change. And the, the number of views is exactly 4,000, or the number 40 again. 40. You, can you see how I did that? 4-0. That's an ongoing uh, theme that's been occurring in my life since November 8th the 40 days period. And I spoke in the previous video on what that means. So I'm gonna be looking at this video and I'm gonna be looking at this video. This video is called Watchman Warning. Again, Germany, Belarus, Russia, Trump, Obama, it's so amazing. And this video was from 7 9 19. So this that's the only two videos I've got to be uh, going through. But I've been going through this first one. I'll make it bigger for you on the screen. And the first thing I noticed is that I'm reviewing what appears to be election type videos. For example, we exalt you, Jesus. Sometimes I just got to pause and say, we exalt you, Jesus. We exalt thee. So this was from November 4th, 2012. November 4th, 2012. And what had happened was a poll worker was fired for asking why there was United Nations 
poll workers at, at, at this voting primary, this voting election, that why was there United Nations there as poll workers, observers, observers? And we've had a recent situation here in 2028 years later regarding poll workers and observers. So I found that really interesting. This guy was fired just for asking about it. So you see this type of deception and collusion goes way back. So let's go from here. I just want to show you some things. I'll come back to this song because I want to turn up the volume. Okay. told me to start watching uh, Barack Obama's executive orders and I had made this video another Obama executive order World War three Antichrist tribulation earthquakes this was uh, approximately three years ago and how and I started watching this how these UN monitors were able to get an American fired right here in America. This was also 2012 and, and someone had blessed me to translating all of these messages that were warnings into Spanish. I mean, even in, in Mexico. So that was here in uh, Sacramento, California, where that happened. Just gonna show you a few things. I'm showing a report that says palm scanners in schools and hospitals in the United Nations Eyes control of the internet. I haven't watched this in a while, and you can see I was watching part two and reading Isaiah. I believe this is also Isaiah what? Four chips and firearms. Okay. Isaiah 13, it says. And I'm going to go through these quickly. You might recognize some of this stuff. Fascinated by this for years, and I don't talk about it often. I does. So, I know I do. You can believe. Right here. Well, thank you, Jesus, for that. Right here on the video from 5-20-2015, I was examining what's called biotechnology. Biotechnology. And it, this was... Uh, this was regarding the Johannesburg plan of implementation of chapter 16 of agenda 21. Biotechnology is not directly addressed in the Johannesburg plan of implementation. Biotechnology is the integration of the new techniques emerging from modern biotechnology with the well-established approaches of traditional bio, biotechnology and blah, blah, blah. So the first thing I thought of when I saw this from five years ago or whatever it was, was BioNTech. Remember, does, does anybody sound familiar to this BioNTech right here? So the first thing the Holy Spirit did was he told me to look up this company and check their stock. And so I did. And, and, and it just kept flashing all ones, all ones. We'll see if it does it again. It was one, 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 one. So this company, Biotech, which is one of the makers of the, the, the Vax, I believe, it says over here that, that it's a German, it's a German biotechnology company based in Mans. And here's where it starts getting really interesting. Active immunotherapies for patient-specific approaches to the treatment of diseases. Founded in 2008 in the headquarters, Germany, but it's based in Mans. Now, here's where it gets really amazing. We go to Google Earth and we check Mans, and it's right here. So, here's where I want to take off and show you some live stuff. This is the Gutenberg Museum. I'm going to show you some things. Um, so, this is, this is where biotech is. Let me turn my Holy Spirit music on. Lower it down a little and we'll go on to the next part of this. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. 
So I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, so here's Germany. Now watch this. In the second video I'm discussing that I told you from 1919, I woke up and I heard the words Moral Dietrich. And I found out that Dietrich Bonhoeffer, it's right here on your screen from the video from 2019, says Dietrich Bonhoeffer was a German pastor and theologian known for his opposition to national socialism. So he was opposed to socialism. But this video was way before the election even started. And you know what they're trying to shove down our throats? Socialism. So pay attention. It says he was executed. He was executed for conspiracy to overthrow the Nazi regime. And they killed him. So what's really interesting is the Holy Spirit said, look, I'm trying to show you something about Germany. So I came over here and I put that uh, Bonhoeffer. Right here, look. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, Frankfurt, Germany. Now watch this. Watch how close they are. Look, do you see that? Did you see how close, honestly, it really was? And let me show you something else. There's an airport way down here. I don't want to get ahead of myself. There's an airport there. So here's Dietrich Bonhoeffer from the video. And here's that bad vibe. You see this? And here's man's. And so you come down here and you see this Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Frank, it's in Frankfurt, Germany. Frankfurt, Germany. Well, here's Frankfurt, right? So I was looking at this exact area. I was looking at this exact area. Turn it down a little bit because I know it does bother some people. It don't bother me though. And you know what happened in Frankfurt? Now here's where it gets here's where it gets kind of hard to understand. It says Main Tower, Frankfurt. And so I was just again I I've, I've been showing this area in videos and I can prove that since 2015 and following up on it in 2019. But so what I've found now is that the CIA and special forces and all this, supposedly, I can't, it's impossible to seem to be able to confirm or deny this. One side is saying it's true. The other side is saying it's completely not true. So I can't verify this 100%. Please keep this in mind. But Frankfurt is where a raid took place on servers that showed Trump winning. Has everybody heard this story? And the Lord was showing me this area five years ago and updating it like a couple months before the election even started. These servers were raided. So I go to this article. So this is talking about, the, the, don't get confused, the biotech, it, it's literally talking about, we're talking about the, uh, the vax, and we're talking about the technology, and we're talking about martial law, and we're talking about the, the pastors being executed, and we come to this story. And, and it, this is from the Army Times. The, there's, there's, a, there's a hundred different articles you could read, but I wanted to try to get to as close as to the Army source as I could. And, and here they're like just totally trashing the guy that said this. This sergeant major of the army, Grinston addresses report on the Fort Hood Independent Review. So this, he's a three-star, he's a lieutenant general, three-star, and he's retired, I believe. But look, he was, he was in command of the 11th Air Force. Let's go see where that is. I believe it's in uh, Alaska. I don't want to look. Where's my little map thing? Not even on the... Not even on the map. But I don't give up that easy. We don't... 
Oh, look at this. Look at all these 11s. Look, it's the 11111 I was just telling you about. 11111. So it's March Air Reserve in California. 11th Street, 11th Avenue is Mountain Home, Air Force Base, Idaho. 11th Street is Edwards Air Force Base, Edwards, California. My dad was actually stationed there. And right here where I live, it was 11th Street Beale Air Force Base. The Air Force Base I just showed yesterday is on 11th. Matter of fact, I was talking to someone named Bear 049. I know him as Brother Gary. And he was saying that he was. we were talking about the number 11 and the number 23. This is fascinating and, and, and what he was shown about what 11 means. So let me continue on. This... The Army Times is saying that this there never was any raid in Frankfort, Missouri. There was no CIA. There was no servers there. And they're just kind of trashing this dude down. But, but he claimed, it says, President Trump, this is his claim, President Trump won in a landslide. And the Dems left so many footprints that this treason must be stopped he told military times this will be the last free election we have and i predicted it on second november on the steve bannon show well the lord was showing me this five years ago and i had a witness so they're denying all this but this dude's a graduate of this general is a graduate of west point he uh look he got the bronze medal star with a v he he won the distinguished flying cross and a V and a V and he was actually the Air Force Assistant Vice Chief in nineteen ninety two. He has all of these accolades of all of these uh, uh, successful uh, flight bombing ra uh, raids and runs and all this stuff he did. But then when he starts telling what I believe to be the truth about some servers in Germany. That, that showed Trump winning the election and, and uh, some soldiers dying in that raid. Uh, it says because he started mentioning that, they claim he went off the rails. A third star general. Right here, look, it says he flew more than 400 combat missions during the Vietnam War alone. 400, that's the 40, look, 40. And so, so it says, after retiring, he spent more than 16 years as a military analyst. And, and, and he, he exposed, like he was exposing John McCain in some fashion. So, so it says it, it's all false. They're saying that the, the Army Times is saying it's all false. One of the claims he made was that Malaysian Flight 370, there's that 37 I've been showing again, So what just happened? This is the actual tweet. It says he claimed that Flight 370 was hijacked and flown to Pakistan. He claimed we needed to go to DEFCON 4. And it says he is a fake news machine. So I'm interested in what are your thoughts on this? Because if he's a fake news machine and all that, then why was the Lord showing me this area for whatever, for what other purpose? So we got Dietrich confirmed. We got Frankfurt, uh, Frankfurt confirmed. I got those from two messages from the Holy Spirit. And we have the BioNTech confirmed. The Lord showed me that the Wuhan area I showed in advance was confirmed. And what the Lord is showing you that all this stuff is coming to a huge exposure. Like a day of reckoning. A day of reckoning. Look, this says worms. So I want to come down here and, and, and here's, here's some air. Look, these are all types of little smaller and larger airports because I always seem to focus on airports. And so I, I want to put in here Obelisk as I've been doing. You wonder why? It's because I believe they're using them as communications with fallen angels. Here's Nuremberg over here. So I'm going to put in Obelisk. Let's see what it brings up. Every single time he's look at them all. There's one in Hanover. I mean, there's just they're everywhere. 
I believe these are communication devices being used by governments and fallen angels. Here's one right here. This is Bocholt, Germany. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. I'm going to show you this whole area because I've prophesied this area heavily with urgency for years. Everything's in German. We exalt you, Jesus. Don't ever forget to exalt Jesus. What is this, a stadium of some sort? It's an interesting shaped parking lot, isn't it? You see that? I've never seen a parking lot shaped like that. This is sad bullshit. I'm sorry. I didn't say BS either. I said bullshit. Come on, y'all. Come on. <laughs> it says bullshit. It's an obelisk. Bad of these things are in New York or Washington, D.C. I'm telling you, the Lord, the Lord, the Holy Spirit is showing me. The Lord is showing me that they're being used as communication devices in such odd areas. And why? Why, man? And it makes me think of those, uh, those, uh, what do you call those things? That's just bizarre. So there's a good look at it. The monuments that are being put up everywhere that they're saying is from aliens and stuff, but really it's man-made stuff. So let me show you the general area. Here's the Netherlands, here's Amsterdam, here's Cologne, who's Dusseldorf. So this is kind of the area here. That's how much I was zoomed in and look, there's obelisks all throughout there. Here's Brussels. So let me go back now to the video. Let me close some of this stuff. Biotech, 11th Street on the Air Force Base. I mean, seriously. You know, do you know what airports they use to transport this V stuff that's frozen? They use Air Force bases too. They really do. So let's see what else is being revealed in here. Look at right here. Look, this has to have been Obama. Executive order RFID microchip. That has to be Obama. Under Obamacare. I just see it all unraveling. So here I'm showing Washington, D.C. at the 14 minute mark. And here I show biotech again. Look, it says a knowledge platform. I tell you, the world is being deceived. Ha have you ever seen this is the United Nations? This is the United Nations reference. Are you kidding me? I just caught that. Have you ever seen more people asking and begging for martial law in your life? Can I pose that question? Have you ever seen more people saying, please introduce martial law? Please, we trust you, government. We trust you, government. Have you ever seen this before? So much trust suddenly in a current administration to protect us via martial law. What playbook does that come out of? I'm, I'm asking you, man. You know, I wanted Trump to win, too, and I believe he's going to remain in office. But it's whatever God wants. But does he think some of this is all getting pretty creepy? Or is it just me? So it looks like in 2015 I was investigating the United Nations and showing some of the things they're involved in. Look at this. You know what? I Is that New York? Where is this? Or is that Philadelphia? Or Chicago? Where is that gun tied in a knot? I love you, Lord. I'll come back to that. Where is that? 
Where where is this? Let's have a listen. This is why I do it live because it's impossible to duplicate this stuff as recorded, you know. That's how we listen. Oh, and here's the puppy cams. Let me <laughs> let me show you real quick the puppies I watch every day. Their labs. Those aren't the ones. I'll come back to it. The camera flips around. I see the puppies, and I can't help but talk about them. I'm about this close to having my wife approve that I want a puppy. Of a gun being tied in a knot. Control. Gun control. And DNA change. And here's where they meet, where they have that holograph in there. Remember that holograph? Let's go up and... See if we can look at that. Oh, it's creepy. And look, isn't that just the same word I use? Let me put, uh, where is my brain? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you got to laugh at this stuff. Where is the statue of gun tied in and all? Is it New York? Because I thought it was in like Chicago or so, or Detroit. Where is the statue of gun tied in not? I mean, it could be New York. I just keep thinking of something else. There it is. Initially, the sculpture was placed in the strawberry fields. Are you kidding me? Memorial in Central Park, New York City, as a memorial tribute to John Lennon. Really? Are you kidding me? Look who we give tribute to, y'all, after he was shot to death. Another assassination. That's two now. Oh, my gosh. Look, 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 look. He was shot to death outside his home in New York City in 1980. In 88, the government of Luxembourg donated a bronze sculpture to the United Nations. So, Luxembourg. Let's go back to the map. I'm so serious about this stuff, I'm telling you. Hey, like it and share it. I'm so appreciative people are liking and sharing this. We are pushing back the kingdom of darkness with the marvelous light, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> like it and share it, please. So let's go back down to Frankfurt. Switching gears here. Let's go back to Frankfurt, Germany. How many people love them some Jesus right here? There's Frankfurt. We never really left it. Hallelujah. Now let's put in Luxembourg. Again. Oh, it's in Belgium. I think it's in Belgium. Yo, look. This is what's been happening. I started doing this yesterday, actually. Everything I put in here comes back to the same exact area, Saints. Everything. So this is Luxembourg. And you're wondering, well, what about it? What about it? I'm telling you, this stuff will be in the news. It'll be in the news. You're going to see it's going to be in the news. And we're showing you here beforehand so that you can believe in Jesus Christ. Belgium. Let me wrap up this first video because I have a warning on Belgium and Belarus. Let's go back to this. We worship you, Jesus. And we thank you. We love you, Lord. We make it all about you. You know when you make it all about him, he makes it all about you. So I wonder what hologram I was talking about. Was it the guy from India? Was it the president or prime minister of India? on this I said Germany there's going to be some confirmations coming forward on this prophecy fulfilled this is how you can get to their live thing right here from just go to the United Nation org it's an organization that wants to run this world hmm. okay and um, let me click in live again and closing one more time look I may not sound urgent 
but I am urgently sounding the alarm. I'm always urgent. I thank you, Deputy Minister, uh, for that statement. Um, yeah. You know, uh, so these were live conferences that were running at the UN about Agenda 21 back then. Now they have Agenda 30, and et cetera, but obviously it's for a reason. This issue of accountability uh, is an issue we've been debating here. And Let me just show you something. There, this world power who's literally here in America now and throughout all the world, see, we know that this has to be through the whole world, not just America, is going to come to the United Nations and they're doing it right in front of our face. <clears throat> and I know uh, the Lord has shown me Obama will work through them. Mm. If he doesn't stay for a third term, he will go to the United Nations. That's what the Lord has shown me. And you know what's going to See, so I've said that for years. So it has to happen at some point. To happen, they're going to bring in the end of the world. There is no longer denying that. They're going to force you to take a mark of the beast. You hear that? And that's going to change your DNA. Wait, you are, you, are, you, are you hearing this? And God's going to... At, at the 20-minute mark, we're talking about they're going to force a mark on you that's going to change your DNA. And it's got the 40 days. Lord Jesus. Are you all hearing this? Let me play it again louder. I'll turn it up louder. I... I have the best microphone I have that I own out here and losing it. It's not great, but it's better than the laptop mic. I need to hear that again. Again, this is from 2015. Let me just show you something. There, this world power who's literally here in America now and throughout all the world. See, we know that this has to be through the whole world, not just America. It's going to come to the United Nations. And they're doing it right in front of our face. <clears throat> and I know uh, the Lord has shown me Obama will work through them. If he doesn't stay for a third term, he will go to the United Nations. That's what the Lord has showed me. And you know what's going to happen? They're going to bring in the end of the world. There is no longer denying that. They're going to force you to take a mark of the beast. And that's going to change your DNA. Do you understand that? And God's going to allow all this. Matter of fact, I was thinking last night before I went to bed, and I was thinking about how Germany and what Germany and America play a role in this. And I'm thinking, pause. Isn't this real interesting that the Lord just showed me that biotech in Frankfurt? And I keep thinking of the, the World Health Organization. And what's that other organization? The, the World Economic Forum. The, the Paris Climate Agreement. I keep thinking of all that. I mean, we have two different people wanting to be president at the same time, well past the election date. One's planning martial law, and the other one's planning the UN and, and going back to the Paris Climate Change. But the, all the while, they're saying they'd be for, the, forcing the mark of the beast with a DNA change, and that is happening. It's happening. And it's really interesting People will come against these prophecies after they're fulfilled and, and call me false prophet and stuff. And then they'll go encourage false prophets where things have never come. To, they, nothing they say comes to pass ever. One guy has over 200 false prophecies and he's worshipped. And then his people come on my channel and they call me false prophet. But just I just ignore them. That's also part of prophecy. You understand? I'm doing a study this Sunday. You're welcome to join Sunday, 11 a.m. It's a ways off. I'll mention it again. But uh, we're going to talk about darkness and light and why people are choosing to follow darkness and listen to darkness and not light. And we're going to pray for them because they're deceived. But how heavy is this deception from people claiming to be Christians that can't even see the truth right in front of their face? That's how the devil works. That's how he works. Got people blinded. Look how close we are. We are so close to what the Bible says is the end of days and, you know, and that things are happening and, and a lot of people, they're just angrily fighting. You know, I believe when this DNA change occurs, you will hate God 
and you'll hate everybody. Rather than love God and love your neighbor, you're going to hate your neighbor. You're going to see fights breaking up. But are we not already seeing this now? Are we not already seeing this now? Now they want to manipulate your DNA. Now they want to put an RFID chip in you. At what point does, does people wake up and say, wait, whatever happened to freedom? Whatever happened to born free? Well, because this is what the Bible says was happening, and we're white, walking right into it. At times I'm thinking, man, how much worse could it get? You had no idea, Paul, did you? Because they are talking about how the V, how the Vax will uh, try to put thoughts in your head that you can no longer believe in God and stuff. This, this, prophecy, is, Paul, this prophecy I'm telling you is 100% on point. And so is the God I serve. And that's why. It's where you get your information from. It's as simple as that. It's it's not that I'm this great person or anything. And I love all the people here. It's just simply where I'm getting my information from. It's not my information. It's his information that comes out beforehand and warned. That's how we know we're about ready to step right into the tribulation right now. And the rise of the Antichrist and enacting martial law and this this Rona stuff all over the place, having people locked in their homes. And now here in California, they're going door to door for testing. They're building a database of all the people who re refuse. They're using the military to, to send it out. This is all so clear to me. And I pray it be clear to you, too. You know, and, and people are so theological about this, you know, in a religious form that they, they say, well, I already know everything. How, if God's going to allow a strong delusion, and God is going to allow people to believe a lie. How do we know where we are at on God's timing? How do we know? How do we know how close we are? By the word of God, right? And talking about peace covenant. And, but what if they didn't tell us? I'm just submitting to you. What if they didn't tell us about a peace covenant? What if they just already did it? I personally know the Antichrist is already alive. Okay, so, and I already know the false prophet is on the scene trying to run this world. That, that was another thing. I, I, I guess this is probably going to run 20, 25 minutes. Let's go back and look at this United Nations thing. Remember I told you how my first channel was run off? I scrolled all the way to the bottom and it says, free and equal campaign. Let's celebrate the contribution. Okay, here's where it's talking about their agenda for the. LGBTFQ, XYZ, all that stuff. Remember, this was five years ago. And I was just questioning why they were being made a priority. It, 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 you know what I'm saying, man. And this is my second YouTube channel. My first one was removed by the LGBT community. Blood boots. Okay, so I think that's that one. Now, let's go to the next one real quick. We'll go through this stuff. So I show it Germany. Let's start up here. Okay, this one's about Belarus. I wanted to do something real quick. That's the Phoenix. Let me, uh... So that's supposedly in strawberry fields. Let's go check this area in Central Park. I think we're dead with Germany. I'm not sure we could come back to it. There's a strawberry field in the UK too. We want New York. Let's go check out this one. Let's just see where it takes us first. Flying over in my Google Earth drone right here and there's another one in Liverpool anything guys you know you get clues no way wait Whoa. okay I get it now <laughs> it's John Lennon Airport I have never been there that's weird when I look at the phone number like the last one I was looking at was 911 Phone number. So let's put in Obelisk and just keep doing the same thing. 
We're going to go to New York. New York. You can pause if you want. Make a sandwich. <laughs> Make a sandwich. Don't worry. Be happy, man. Cleopatra's Needle. Okay, so I have a, I have an entire message on Cleopatra's Needle. There's also one in New York. Very familiar with it. This is London. I have, I could show you, but I mean, just trust me. I, London Eye. I have, I have a video on these Cleopatra's Needle. Historic landmark. Yeah, you know what it is. It's communications with fallen angels through governments and stuff. It's good at, um, is it Strawberry Fields, New York? Check this out. This whole thing is just, oh yeah, as if I've never seen this area before. About 40 videos on this. So here it is. What in the world is that? Looks like some type of Masonic thing. West 72nd Street, New York. Look at quiet shady patch of Central Park with black and white tile mosaic honoring Beetle. John Lennon. What is all this? Uh, what is all this John Lennon stuff, man? What, what are we missing? Oh, look, Roosevelt Island. So, here's where I get really shocked and tell you that uh, I've made dozens of videos on this area. Let's get down there. Don't be trying to hide it from us either. We know how you do. But let's go down to this road. So is it in there somewhere? I exalt thee. Too bad we couldn't go that way, huh? Is it in there somewhere? Has anybody ever seen it? It's hidden in a bunch of trees. Look, it's in there. Oh, I know where this is. I've made a video of this area before. There's a side street that runs along this. I know exactly where it's at. Well, look at New York, man. So let's put in Obelisk. Hi, my hood. Hello. Say hi to the people out Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Let's see what Obelisks are. Communication towers. Flying uh, Max and Watchman drone 40. Just one right here. But we didn't have to go very far, did we? So all of these areas are around communication devices for fallen angels through the government. This one just happens to be looking at the obelisk. It's just called the obelisk. East 81st Street, erected in the park in 1881. This landmark granite obelisk is inscribed with Egyptian hieroglyphics. Well, let me, can I ask a question? Why in the world would you put that there? This is not Egypt. Why are these things all over the world? I mean, give me a break. I want to put in this. Uh, so that's where the, the gun knot thing they must have moved it from Strawberry Field and Central Park. And what, and, uh, so 357. I don't want to spend too much time on this. United Nations Postal Administration. I didn't even know they had one, did you? Well, who knows what they're mailing around if they have access to mail. Is there not good? Let's continue to scroll through this. 
zoom it up straight. I can't set a date, but here, there, I just yeah. can't set a date. But look, 44. What was I talking about? You, I can't set a date. I've been saying that for a long time. Gail Max said, no more scaring me. I did, thank you, Mom. This got me good yesterday. I can't set a date, but here, there. I'm not going to set a date. I told you that's not right. And you made some great quotes. But so let's look at what the Holy Spirit is showing me. Showing me the month of July. I can't set a date, but here, there, I just can't set a date. But look, 44 is President Obama and also judgment. Mm. Now look at this, 45 is President Trump. He's the 40. You see the fifth president, Obama. What's the date again? July 9, 19. It's unbelievable. Was 44. I worked it on a message to blow a lid off something. I'm just praying for wisdom on how to do so. Hey, something well, that was revealed to me a long time ago. Tell us about it, man. About our current president and the former one. Okay. But let's go forward. Keep facts. There's a picture of him. One of the earliest critics of the Nazi regime, Bonhoeffer became involved in the Confessing Church a movement that fought against the Nazification of the German Evangelical Church. And this is, I don't know if you follow along with politics here today, but they're, they're, the left is claiming the right are Nazis, and the rights are claiming the left are socialists. That's true. Just saying. <laughs> it's true fact. That's During right, the Nazi era, and you know what Nazis did? They, the Holocaust. They killed Jews. Which many deny anti-Semitism is on the rise, and so is the persecution and killing of Jews and Christians. And I just randomly hear this word out of the sky that even my wife has never heard. It. And, then, and people would try to convince me there's no God. Right. Never happened. Because of stuff like this. During the Nazi era, Bonhoeffer... So it looks like it ends up, uh, it was executed in a... Oh, here we go, look. Can y'all see what I'm about to show you? Number three, it says one, two, three. So he was arrested in 1943 and executed in the Flossenburg uh, concentration camp, so in April. So yesterday I was talking about the number 43 and 43 days, and I was mentioning April, and then there it is. Let's see what else we have in here. Is is that they're calling the 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 housing on on the border on our southern border? They're calling them concentration camps. I'm amazed. Look at this. Oh, Jeffrey Epstein. The pops up. Epstein. Watch this. I gotta show you something now. Back to Google Earth. Epstein. I'm going to put in Germany again. You're not going to believe this. It's on the map. Epstein, Germany. Watch this. Again from the video. Drone 40. Booyah. So let's see where we're at. Epstein. Kind of hard. Look, Frankfurt. <laughs> you see in this? I mean, it's the same. I told you everything from the prophetic video, everything I put in there comes back to the exact same area. Here's Frankfurt. Why does this say annual Christmas market? Why did this just take a really strange turn? Hold on. Frankfurt. A central German city on the River Main 
is a major financial hub that's home to the European Central Bank. It's the birthplace of famed writer Johann Wolfgang von Getty, whose former home is now the Getty House Museum. Like much of the city, it was damaged during World War II and later rebuilt. The reconstructed old town is the site of Romerberg, a square that hosts an annual Christmas market. And what time are we in? Have your way, Holy Spirit. This has a website. It's almost been an hour already. What are you showing us, Lord? Let's continue. Coincidence? I ask you. Still asking. 100% volume. Let me get off that. So, the man was born in Breslau of the life and resistance. This moral Dietrich that I heard. Yes. Breslau. Spell that, but press. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, what are you showing us, God? You know, it's interesting that we can't really even travel anymore because this fake lockdown thing, and yet God can still, is that a river? It's a river. It's like the River Thames that goes through. What are all these things? Banks? Museums? are all museums, man. A lot of museums. Wish I could travel and check this stuff out, man. It's just kind of a weird shaped thing. Is this a stadium over here, too? So what's this? Ugh. That, uh. I mean, you see some weird things up there. What is that? Looks like an evil face or something there. Look at this museum though. Can we go in through the top? Incoming! Yep. And here we are. <laughs> Things, man. I don't know, but let's get out of here. That was pretty strange. Back to the video. Get my focus in Jesus. There's still a few more things I want to show you, so I'll keep going led me to <clears throat> this is the same exact map Belarus. I posted on Facebook several years ago with a red X yeah. a red X and a red X there was three red X's here and that's the video I was kind of telling you about remember I told you about Belgium there's Belgium right there there's Belgium there's Ukraine there's Romania there's Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Well, we know what Georgia. There were warning areas. Georgia. And <clears throat> I made a warning about the Baltic Sea. So all that information is out there on the internet somewhere. And on this YouTube channel about this map. Well, this is where the guy's from. It's 
near Belarus. <clears throat> That's where he's from, Dietrich. So I went to this major warning for the Baltic Sea area show, and it's the same exact map. And this was April 27, 2018. April. Have a listen. Did you catch that? God is putting a picture together. Here. April. So it looks like this is Helsinki, Estonia, uh, Sweden. Let's listen. If you come down here, St. Petersburg, and if you come down here, you're going to see. Who knows what we're going to see, huh? So these are areas. So over here, right. southeast is Belarus, which is an area I have been told to warn about many, many times. And then many, many times if you go over here to the west, here's Amsterdam and Denmark. I'm showing you an area, a specific area, and a specific sea. Sweden. And let me ask y'all something. Let me know in the comment box. While you're in the comment box, hit that like button, please, and share this video, please. What do you think, why do you think I keep getting sh shown Belarus and Belgium? Any thoughts, any comments, if you're still listening? Okay, so let's go to the next video. <clears throat> Scandal on. Thank you, Jesus. I remember this video. Watchmen. Watchman warning scandal on. And so I looked up this word. I remember this. Remember, this is called Watchman warning Germany, Belarus, Russia, Trump, Obama. Scandal on. You know what that is? It's a stumbling block. Scandal on is a stumbling block, if I remember right. Get under the blood, Belarus. July 27th. Again, July 2016. This was when I was in the in prayer, intercessory in prayer on my face, warning Belarus, guard your mouth, pleading the blood of Jesus. Are you a stumbling block? Zapod, Russia, war. Zapod mm -hmm. means ago, west. Zapod was a and, drill. And, and listening to this and reading the word of 1 Corinthians 1, about stumbling blocks, I had a vision. Matter of fact, look, I still even have Facebook. Let's listen. Get under the blood. I just had a flash vision right now that I have to share. It's right now I'm making this video. I saw people, and they were covered in trash. They were covered in rags and trash. Not the blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I intercede and pray for the people you just showed me yes, through your Jesus. power yes, and in your Lord. holy name, Jesus, right Jesus, now. Jesus, Jesus, I Jesus. speak to these people and say, Jesus loves you. Jesus wants to bless you. Jesus died for you. Jesus was beaten and whipped and stabbed and crucified for you. Would you shake off the trash and get under the blood in Jesus' name? Scandal on, scandal on, scandal on, warning, warning. It's quite interesting that I'm still doing the same exact thing, playing some worship, revealing things, and sharing them with others as I point them towards Jesus. It's, it's like I'm doing the exact same thing and listening to myself. 1111, you see that? Did it, if, let me know in the comments. Well, it's right here. Look, 1111. Belarus. A snare. It's the bait in the trap. It's a stumbling block, a trap. Seven twenty-seven sixteen. I heard, get under the blood, then was shown Belarus. This morning, I hear moral Dietrich, moral Dietrich, moral Dietrich, and it ties to both the former president, Barack Obama, and the current president, Donald Trump, and it parallels exactly with what's going on in the world now. Now, the question in the comment section, did Obama travel? I know he traveled to Berlin, right? That's what I'm hearing right now. Did Obama travel anywhere in that map I'm showing you? Let's 
push. Let's get up in the air. There we go. So what was I saying? Berlin. Didn't Obama travel to Berlin? And what about any of these other areas? And has Trump traveled there? Who's Berlin? Let's see. I don't know why Berlin came to my mind. Holocaust Memorial. Obelisk. Look at them all. Look at all these obelisks. It's actually disgusting, man. sad is this man I think I'm dead with these videos did I say anything else I doubt it you think it's gonna happen something big is gonna happen please share this so we can be a prayer something big is gonna happen I said so here's another thing I'm looking at just so you know remember we we're talking about the Phoenix in the video before I have exactly, these are the puppies I wanted to show you. There's two black ones, three white ones, I think, five total. I've been watching them for weeks now grow. They're just the cutest things. Puppy break. It's okay, good. So ask me for the link to that if you want. It's called Explore Dogs Channel. Love dogs. I even have a favorite picked out here. So, remember we talked about the Phoenix? I do have one video about the Phoenix, and I put the restrainer, a warning. Abib. I said, I saw Abib, which is now Aviv, as in Tel Aviv. I saw a bird trying to imitate a dove and her Phoenix. A bird trying to imitate a dove, counterfeit, and heard Phoenix. I heard restrainer and believe he is starting to stop restraining. I see. I saw people climbing a great wall, and they were rebuked and told there is only one way. Then I saw 1 Corinthians 3. I began mourning and lamenting with urgency. Then I saw Deuteronomy 26. Let me try something here. Okay. I want to travel to Israel. You're welcome to come with me. Buckle up. Get your seat to that right position. Here we go. Drone 40. Seven day flight over to 37. And now, I want to come down on the land of Israel and see if they have obelisks. If they do, I'll be real sad for them. This is just something the Holy Spirit is leading me to do. There's one in Jordan. It said, Look. Not as many. Half a. Cesara Obelisk, let's see. It is. There's an obelisk in Israel. I don't know why I'm saddened by that. Again, communication towers used by fallen angels and the government. Let's see what I have to say in here, and then uh, one more thing. So I can do this now and show you. I was talking about owls in yesterday's video. Owls and Voyager. I found out that the Voyagers have been flying for Voyager 2. I found out that the Voyager 2 have supposedly been flying for 43 years. 
and is now more than 11 billion miles from Earth. That's pretty far, I think. <laughs> it's just silly. I mean, <laughs> I mean, whose measuring stick are they using? You know what I'm saying? But the number 11 again? I was talking to Brother Gary. He said, yep, 11. Let's brush, so now we just brush through this and pretend it again. Let's see what we're saying. June 2nd. 2016. This is day 29 of laying out prostrate. Oh, writing and stuff. These are my favorite kinds. So that's the stuff I read. Too. And then I began to research the scripture and I found out it is now, it went from. So it used to be Tel Aviv. Now this was uh, just. But now it's down. Tel Aviv. It was a false bird trying to pretend it was a dove. And then I heard the word Phoenix. All right. I One last check of Google Earth. Always focusing and pointing people to Jesus and not me. We want to check Phoenix for an obelisk. Because there's seven states that I, seven states that the Lord led me to travel to, to pronounce judgment. And now there's seven states with dual electors. So I've been here to Phoenix, baptizing people, casting out demons. See if there's no belief. If there is, then I believe, I believe I've made a tie in. That ain't uh, that fallen angels are communicating with governments to set up the end of the world, and they're and they're there's portals that have been opened, and somehow they're able to use these obelisks. That's if there's an obelisk. I'm pretty confident there probably is, but you just never know. Oh yeah, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's exactly seven. Did y'all see that? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, they're they're flying falcons up there, and they're flying owls, they're flying phoenixes, and it, it it's all heading down to a big, huge lockdown. Not like the lockdown we're in now. I mean, a controlling lockdown of unprecedented proportions enforced by military and National Guard as chaos rises and they think their phoenix is rising. Really, the church is rising up out of here. Jesus' name. Peoria. Is there a Peoria? Is that Illinois? Let's see how many Peorias. How do I spell? Is there a Peoria uh, pure in Georgia? Let's see, where else. Let's see if there's one in Georgia. Look at that. What's this? Is it Illinois? This rings a bell. There is Jesus drone forty takes flight again. Still standing, Minister Paul, watchman on the wall. What do you know about this area? Jesus, I love you, Lord. I just thought I saw a room. Well, right here. Anyway, I'm going to end the video. I'll see you in the uh, Floyd County. Okay, hold on. What are the disputed counties in Georgia? Is Floyd County one of them? Let's see, Floyd County. I'm going to put Floyd County election. And if they're 
part of the election thing. Then. Look for news on it. No way, look. You're seeing this, right? Wait. Floyd County terminates election director after state audit uncovers uncounted votes. Georgia recount uncovers 2,600 new votes in presidential race. Election officials in Floyd County, 2,600 votes. Are you hearing this? Are you seeing this? Maps. It just keeps bringing up some kind of my neighborhood, actually, is what it does. Okay, y'all, I'll see you in chat. God bless you.